hello and welcome back to my channel cooking with stephanie today we'll be doing very simple 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 milk candy because that is how it's called in liberia milk candy so don't forget to subscribe like and share if you are old thank you so much for subscribing if you are new you are welcome to this channel These are the ingredients I'm going to be using. You need rapso oil. You can use any oil you want. Any oil. You can use aloe vera oil or olive oil or any oil you want to use. But this is my rapso oil. I love rapso oil. And then you use your condensed milk. I bought this from the turkey shop. Use three tin and your ginger. I'm going to blend, cut the ginger. I was already cutting it, as you can see. I'm going to cut it into smaller pieces. And I will beat it in a mold. So I'm using mold. So I'm not using blender. I want to have that. I don't want it to be blend softly. I just want to have, you know, when you beat something in a mold. So how it turned out to be. That is what I want. That is what I'm going for. So these are the ingredients. It what you're going to do is just to pan the ginger in a mold. Let it just pan it very, very good. And then you add your oil in your hot pot. That's what I do. And I will let the oil to be hot a little bit, just a little. And then I will start to pour my condensed milk in the pot. After you pour all your condensed milk in the pot, don't forget, yeah? to start to turn it around so you finish pouring it in a pot you turn it around don't stop turning it around till it's cooked because when you stop it's going to start to burn even sometimes when you're turning it sometimes it start to get brown that is it that is it so you have to turn it Always turn it around. That's the secret in making the milk candy is that you're turning it around every time, turning it around. Then you add your ginger. I don't want my ginger to be so cooked in the milk candy, so I waited when it was a little bit browned. Then I added my ginger. So that is what you should do. Yeah. I don't want all this juice for the ginger to die. I wanted them I wanted them to cook so, together. So this is how brown it is now. I'm going to take a pan or a bowl, add a oil in it so that it cannot stick in a bowl. It's good to if you can mold it in the shape you want when it's hot. So I let it sit down for a very like for like one or two minutes. Try it if you if you're afraid of hot thing. Me, I'm not afraid to hold hot things. So I just let it sit for like two minutes, one minute like that, and then I started to mold them. So you first mold them round. You mold them into like a ball, and then when you get the shape of a small little ball, then you press your thumb. Any finger, your pointy finger in it or any finger you think you want to point it in it. Just push it down like the way you see in the video. So that is what I did. I'm just going over it to show you how I did it. So guys, this is the finishing look from this milk and like I got so much. Thank you for watching. I see you next in my other video.